MCTV is on the air. Good morning, Huskies. Today is Monday, April 12th, and day five of the six-day cycle. And congratulations to the cast and crew of The Little Mermaid on a great show. Please rise for our national anthem and the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This year's prom is May 15th from 7 to 10.30 p.m. at Brookmere Estates in Belleville. Tickets are $30 per person or $60 per couple. You must sign up and RSVP with payments no later than Friday, April 30th. Only juniors and seniors are able to attend, and guests from outside of MCHS cannot be more than 20 years of age. Masks are also required. Want to make someone smile, get something sweet, and help a great cause? Starting today, there will be a rose lollipop sale in the cafeteria before school and during lunches to raise money for a senior project benefiting the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Cystic fibrosis is a life-threatening genetic disorder that affects 30,000 children and adults in the United States each year. Young children diagnosed with the disease often find it difficult to pronounce cystic fibrosis, so they are told they have 65 roses. To honor the name and the children affected, Student Council is selling rose lollipops for the cause. Be sure to help those with cystic fibrosis and buy a lollipop bouquet in the cafeteria. Choir lessons today are Period 2, All State Choir Students, Period 4, Brianna Borman, Period 6, Jay Garman. Check it out, seniors. Deadlines for local scholarships are approaching quickly. For example, the C. Ray Price Scholarship is given in memory of former MCSD business manager, Mr. C. Ray Price. Two $1,100 scholarships are awarded each year. The application deadline is April 20th. The scholarships are for students going on to major in business and who have high academic achievement. This scholarship and many more are available on the Guidance Office Google Classroom and in the Guidance Office. It's a slow day in MC Sports. Here's Maddie. Over the weekend in MC Sports, Friday, Colby Baldorf's seventh inning RBI single lifted our Husky baseball team to a 5-4 win at State College. At Bald Eagle area, things didn't go as well for our Lady Husky softball team as they fell to the Eagles by an 11-1 final score. Our girls lacrosse team picked up a 15-8 victory over the Mustangs of Midwest. Scoring was scattered across seven players. Emma Ritchie tallied four goals, Jada Buchanan followed with three, Cassia Smith and Sadie Fike each had two, Brianna Dobson, Brenna Dobson and Ella Kammerer and Monica Druckermiller also scored in the win. Today in MC Sports, we had just one varsity event. Coach Kyle and our boys tennis team will travel to Northern High School. The team is excused at 1.15 today. And the JV baseball game at Redland scheduled for tomorrow has been canceled due to COVID issues at Redland. That's a quick check on sports. Lydia, what's for lunch? In the Husky line, hot dog or chili dog, baked beans, potato wedges, fruit, and milk. And in the griller, hamburger or breaded chicken sandwich. Lydia has one final announcement. Attention Drama Club officers, please report to A107 following announcements. That's Drama Club officers to A107 at this time. That's all for the morning show. For Lydia and our entire MCTV crew, I'm Trent. Enjoy your Monday. Have a husky day.